by Kermit713. I'm sure you know the deal by now. Um, just a couple of things to mention before we get started. Um, I'll go ahead and unload everything up. Um, you're seeing its uh, default conditions for this playthrough. Uh, as the first time I've played the course all the way through, um, so you'll kind of get to the um, raw thoughts as we play. I played a few holes just to check it out for the tour, but um, I haven't actually played the whole thing yet. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not a designer, so you're not going to get a lot of the technical side from me. You're going to get that from the other judge. I'm looking at this more from the playability side uh, and the routing flow cohesion variety of holes side. So that's my main focus. My main focus is playability because that's what's most important for the CC tour. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and play. We're going to play the first hole and then we'll have a look at the holes, the actual scorecard. I am a big believer in the first hole being stunning because you need a hook to grab people in and this fits that bill perfectly. Um, also keep in mind that I am a PGA player playing with master clubs. Um, I'm going to kind of speed golf my way through this. So what I shoot on this has no relevance on his score. And I'm also not scoring after this, so I will play it a couple more times. Under some various other conditions. Right, so let's have a look at the scorecard. So what I'm looking for is variety in distances on threes, fours, and fives, so they don't all they're not all the same shot, they're not all the same distance. Okay. So look at the threes. 152, 120, 192, and 195. So I think you, I mean, it, it, the caveat on this is, is that they could play differently, right? So, I mean, we could have one be one uphill and one be downhill, and they play completely different. So there's a caveat that I have not played the holes yet, okay? You could probably done with the 192 or the 195 being 10 yards-ish longer, depending on how they play. Just to break up those two shots. Uh, let's see, the fours have got some good variety to them. A lot of short ones, a lot of long ones, that's good. And then the fives, 586, 599, and 616. So you, you need a short par five, the same caveat, right? I mean, they could be reachable. But I'm not a huge fan of um, par fives that you can't reach all the way through a course. Not necessarily, I mean, they have their place, obviously, but it would be nice if there was at least one reachable one somewhere. And again, the caveat there is they may play. Uh, I do like the double greens. I think that's a nice touch. <clears throat> kind of wish there wasn't a bunker between them, personally. Ooh, this is a good drive. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I love this little inlet of fairway. You're just daring me to go for it here. I'm gonna try and fast fast my way into that fairway. Oh you just dared me to go for it. That is a great design right there. Love that design right there. That is great. You just dare me to go for that shot right there. Move fast at the sandwich. Got the slope though. I'd like to say I was trying to do that. But I wasn't, so. Yeah, that, that's a pretty well-designed hole right there. I love that option off the tee. And you're following it up with a really short par 4 here. With an itty bitty green. Ah, kicked it right in the 
rough. Alright, that's another, that's a good short part four. Green's a little iffy on the back there. In terms of places to put pins. So I'm going to make a note for myself to check the pins there on that hole. This is a bit narrow for this shot. Well, I guess I'm hitting to it. Never mind. Can I get it over that bunker? Let's see. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a Masters Club advantage on this hole because yeah, you can't make that with a Pro Club. I didn't put that out hard enough. <clears throat> this is a pretty hole right here. Another, another dare me to hit that there shot. Another dare. That one I don't think you can make. So I'm gonna try that one. That could be interesting though, downwind though. You do have a little bit of bias towards master clubs on this course. So far, anyway. So far. But so far, so good. I like, like what I see. I love the variety in the holes. Feels like every hole's been completely different so far, which is great. I haven't commented yet, but I do like the 177 greens. I think they're probably pretty perfect for these greens. I always appreciate that as a scheduler because I can go up and down. You know, if I want to play a little bit slower, I can make them slower. If I want to play a little bit faster, I can play a little bit faster. The fault wind puts us dead into the wind. That's a tough. Tough for part five. I mean, you, downwind is kind of reachable. Eh. Again, kind of an advantage to the Master Club users here. Especially if that was downwind. Check out this short part three here. Oh yeah. Is that a walkway? What is that? Is that a dam? What is that? What is this? What is this walkway here? Oh, it's a bridge. Okay. Interesting. So you've got the bridge there, uh, because you've got this, 
it's because that's a double green. I got it. Got it. Maybe. Got it. Okay. Got it. Well, I didn't turn it all. Like what I saw in the front nine. Oh, ooh, this pin's a little squirrely in the corner up here. And launched his way up in the air. Look at that shot. That's a shot a pro would play, though. Doesn't change the fact that that's a little bit if you have a pin for a CC player, especially a pro club player. A little bit iffy. Kind of a forced layup here. Try to jam it through the break there and it missed. Alright, so this first one plays pretty straightforward. That's an interesting green. That's also an interesting pin. Because now my question to you is, did you put a pin on the back left up here? Because if you did, then I'm not a huge fan of this pin. If you didn't, then I'm questioning why you have that bit up there. But that's okay. So, that is something else I will look at later. Try and bounce it off the slope here. Oh, that's going to miss the green. Oh, get off of that. Oh, that was his foot from being good. A uh, foot from being good. That's too bad. Yeah, so I'll make a note for myself to check out the other pins on this hole. Yeah. See, so yeah, yeah, you're, you're. Every hole feels different. I don't feel like I'm playing the same holes over and over again. Which is a great feature to have. Get up. Oh. Ooh! What an ugly lie for just being off the fairway. I'm going to put this in the bunker down there and be done with it. Oh, just missed the bunker. That's right. Chunk that ship. Got away with it though, it ran out. That was a nasty lie there. Stopped the fairway. Not usually a fan of 
courses that are just straight heavy rough after the fairway. Well, this is an interesting hole. This is an interesting hole. Another double green, maybe? Is that what is that back there? Is that a green? I don't know if it's another green. Okay. Why are we connecting that with fairway then? That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Ooh. I don't have this shot. I don't have this shot. Wow. Huh. Okay, let's check this out. Watch this. Watch me hit it in the bunker. Well, that almost looked like I knew what I was doing. That was not what I was trying to do, by the way. But it works. That's too hard. The fast on the partial kills it. Boop. Love the short design. I'm not a giant fan of the connected fairway in the back because it makes it feel like it should go out farther. But it works. All right, See, this whole plays a lot longer. Okay, so you've got the double green here. Okay, so yeah, it kind of works. Like I said, you can play it longer, so I'm, I'm okay with it, kind of. It definitely plays different. That's all. That's all I care about. I do like the double greens. It's a nice feature on this course. I think it fits well. It's something that's probably people haven't done in the past. Because you can really change the, the whole the way the whole plays. Ah, uh, this is that other hole. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm really confused on why you put this here. Can you, can you even hit it over here? Yeah, but why would you? Okay, yeah, so now I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to determine I lay this up, but I'm going to hit this anyway. Not a fan of that other fairway, not to the left, since it's not even used. Uh, very slow. It was definitely meant to be slow, but it wasn't meant to be very slow. All right. A four and a five to go. Definitely one of the more interesting courses I've played in terms of its layout. Like I said, I, I love the fact that it's not repetitive. Ooh, that's a interesting green. That's not gonna make it. Alright, one to go. This should probably do pretty well, I think, in the contest. We'll see. I would definitely put it up there in some of one of my top ones that I've played. I've not played all of them, obviously, but... Wow. Options galore here. I know you don't intend me to use that fairway. I'm going to run out of fairway going that way. So we're going to have to go this way, eh? I can fast it in there. Oh, sit. 
sit. All right, that's fine. That took a, a much softer bounce to the left than I thought it would. Oh, and I didn't get the fast on the three wood. It's okay though. Up on the green and two. Yeah, so well done. It's a well done course. Definitely gonna get a spot on tour. Ah, I just chunked that. That was dumb. I forgot that was ten feet or ten yards. Yeah, so if, you know, if you, you want to discuss anything that I've said here, I don't know, I haven't said probably too much. Um, you know where to find me on the forums. Um, but other than that, I thought it was a great course. Wish I could have given you a little bit more criticism. Some people will probably talk to you about some design stuff. Like I said, my only major criticism was that I didn't like that one little part of fairway to the left. It just it took my eye away from that short part four. Um, and especially since it wasn't being used in the other hole, so I don't know, but I don't know what you put there instead, right, so. Um, and then I didn't like, for CC purposes, the fact that there was a Masters Club bias, because it was pretty evident that there was. Um, but I thought the layout was interesting, I thought it was visually appealing. So, um, it'll, it'll hopefully do well, we'll see what other people think about it. But with that, I will wish you best of luck in the contest.